Hi, I'm Jason O'Dell, and today I'm going to talk to you about the graduated neutral density filter in Nick Software's Color Effects Pro 4.0. And the graduated neutral density filter is something that traditionally photographers use a lot for outdoor photography. Anytime you want to compress the tones in a scene, and by that I mean you want to make a sky darker to balance out a shadowy or dark foreground. Compress the tones in your camera. And you can do that in the field with a traditional neutral density filter, a graduated filter, but they can be a little bit awkward to use and oftentimes you don't get enough compression. And the other time where it's really hard to use a graduated neutral density filter is in a scene like this one I've got up here on the screen. In this particular case, if we add the traditional filter, we darken everything along a gradient, including these interesting rocks in the middle ground. So let's look at this filter uh, in Color Effects Pro 4, which is what I'm showing you right now. I'm going to go ahead, I've, I've already processed the image to be a low contrast, fairly low saturation image. And I'm going to add in the graduated neutral density filter by just clicking it from the filter list here. All right, when I do that, you can see that the sky got dark, but it's really hard to see how the filter is actually placed. So I want to show you some tricks for using these and these are tricks that I explain in detail in my new guide to Color Effects Pro 4 in my ebook. So what I want to do with any of these graduated filters is I'm going to set the blend slider here to zero and I'm going to really crank down the upper tonality slider. Now you can see pretty clearly on the screen exactly where that filter is applied. Now I can use the vertical shift slider or the rotation slider and when I do that it's pretty clearly demarcated on the screen as to where the effect is being applied. So I'm going to double click my rotation to set it back to its default. I'm going to set the vertical shift here and now once I've done that here's the line I'm just going to add the blend back and dial back the upper tonality a little bit to get settings that I want and one of the cool things about this filter in Color Effects Pro is that you can also dial in adjustments on the lower tonality or the bottom half of the image so if I wanted for example to make the bottom of the image a little bit brighter or darker I could do that can fine-tune the overall tone compression in the image. Now doing that is nice but you still don't end up with an ideal filter because if you notice up here and in the rocks it's unevenly darkened. This is a problem this is the same effect that you would get if you were using a traditional resin uh, high quality graduated neutral density filter in front of your camera. So we're going to add a trick with Color Effects Pro 4 and that is we're going to use a minus control point right here and I'm going to place it on this part of the image and doing so removes this effect from my rocks up here. Now maybe that's too light I can change the opacity a little bit add a little bit of that darkening back in. I'm going to duplicate this control point and place another one over here make it a little smaller. There we go. And I can just dial in the opacity in these localized areas to taste. So now when I do that, I get a hybrid neutral density uh, filter. Because a traditional filter would just be a gradient, but now I've got a gradient subtracting out my middle ground objects. And if I expand the control points tab, click the mask view, you can see here that I'm removing the filter effect from these darkened areas and it, the control point masks it perfectly. In fact, if I wanted to put another control point down here just to, to improve the selection, I could do that. Hide the masks and now you have the image. From here, you can go on and add your, your color effects, your saturation, whatever else you might want to do, local contrast, using other filters in the stack. But let's just preview our graduated neutral density filter. Here was the effect without the control point without the control points. Here's the effect with our control points. And here's the effect the image before we started and after we start when we finished.
So again, I'm Jason O'Dell. Thanks for joining me today. This was the graduated neutral density filters in Nick Software's Color Effects Pro 4.0.